a sacred alliance forged in blood in the midst of gunfires, an alliance stretching 69 years that continues to evolve. The relationship between Korea and the United States started in 1882 when Joseon, the last dynastic kingdom of Korea, signed the Treaty of Peace, Amity, Commerce, and Navigation with the U.S. The first American diplomatic delegation visited Joseon the following year in 1883. Joseon reciprocated the visit, returning the courtesy to promote friendship. Korea's first Western medical institution, Tijingwon, was established in 1884 at the proposal of a Christian missionary, Horace Newton Allen. Tijingwon played an important role in laying the foundation of Korean medicine. American Protestant missionary Horace Grant Underwood taught medicine here and came to establish the Chuseon Christian College. The bilateral relationship continued until Japan seized Chuseon's diplomatic rights. The relationship was restored with Korea's liberation and the establishment of the Republic of Korea in 1948. When the Korean War broke out in 1950, the United States decided to swiftly send its troops. The U.S. also led the adoption of a series of U.N. Security Council resolutions based on which 22 member states provided military and medical assistance. Following the armistice in 1953, a mutual defense treaty was signed between Korea and the U.S., which was the beginning of the ROK-U.S. alliance. The peace and stability of the Korean peninsula has been maintained throughout the years on the firm commitment of the two nations. The two countries, as part of multinational forces, have also strived to ease global conflicts and aid reconstruction in countries like Afghanistan and Iraq. Economic assistance from the U.S. provided the foundation for Korea's economic growth after the Korean War, and bilateral economic relations continued to deepen in tandem with Korea's modernization efforts. Korea established itself as one of the major trading partners of the United States. Even amid a decline in global exports due to the recent COVID-19 pandemic, Bilateral trade between Korea and the U.S. has increased and exceeded the global exports growth rate, thanks in part to the Korea-U.S. FTA. In addition to the trade volume, Korea's direct investment in the U.S. continues to grow. Furthermore, globally competitive Korean companies are building factories to manufacture semiconductors, automobiles, and EV batteries in the United States. This has led to an increase in Korea's investment in the U.S., and with it, the creation of more American jobs, the Republic of Korea and the United States have been proactively responding to the changing security environment and upgraded their relations into a comprehensive strategic alliance. The ROK-US alliance has proved its strength amid global crises. Korea swiftly provided 2 million facial masks to the US during the early days of the pandemic and facilitated US procurement of diagnostic kits and essential medical equipment. The US also provided 1.41 million doses of vaccines to Korea in consideration of the close alliance relationship. These efforts led to the establishment of the Corus Global Vaccine Partnership, combining America's technology with Korea's manufacturing prowess. Over the past decade, Korea invited U.S. Peace Corps service members back to Korea who had engaged in educational and health activities while they were serving in Korea in the past. When such visits had to be cancelled due to COVID-19, the Korea Foundation sent COVID-19 survival box to the Peace Corps members as an expression of our appreciation and friendship. The ROK-US alliance is developing into a more future-oriented partnership, focusing on cooperation in areas such as energy, space, climate change, and health. The two countries revised their nuclear agreement in 2015 and established a high-level bilateral commission on nuclear energy. In 2016, an agreement on space cooperation was signed to promote cooperation in the field of private space exploration. As Korea's music and entertainment content gains popularity around the world, cultural exchanges are deepening between the two countries. Throughout the years, the Korea-U.S. relationship has evolved into a mature alliance that shares core values such as democracy and market economy. 
Korea, and the U.S. are now committed to going beyond the Korean Peninsula and paving the way for freedom and peace around the world. Based on this valued future-oriented companionship, the two countries will continue to move forward towards the 100th anniversary of the Alliance and beyond.